plethora of weapons. Obviously, you lose Greeny, but to have Jew healthy and, and to have Roy back and then add all the guys that you have added, is that just kind of, has that shown today what, a little bit, a glimpse of that? Yeah, like you said, I think it was a little bit. Um, we struggled having time to throw at, at some points. We wanted to take shots. I mean, between AJ and Anton, I truly think they're the two best DNs in the conference. Um, and they'll have the opportunity to show that. Uh, this fall, but yeah, I mean, as far as getting the ball in the perimeter, just getting the ball in those guys' hands uh, usually leads to good stuff. Also had some injuries on the offensive yeah. line, which had to affect things very right? much. Yeah, yeah, we had. Um, so right now, we don't have a single guy from last year uh, that played in the spring game tonight. We sat some guys that uh, that started tonight at the spot they started at last year, and then Scotty and Will both started on the line last year. However. Scotty was a guard, Will was a tackle, and Scotty played center tonight, and then Will played guard. So, new stuff. Uh, it was fine. We still moved the ball. I actually ran the ball pretty well. So. How much more confident did you have for this game than, you know, how much better did you feel than when you were in this position last year? Um, I mean, a lot. Like I said, it was, I wouldn't say like confidence. I would just say um, more or less just the, I mean, actually, it was, it was a spring game. I wasn't really like, super nervous, I'm being honest. Just, we treated it like a practice. Um, the fans, I guess, added a different element. Um, but I think, like, to further your question, coming this fall, I'll definitely feel a lot more comfortable um, just knowing, you know, after doing it for a year that I'm supposed to be here. I'm, and I'll be com uh, comfortable knowing that. How's the running back group coming together? Greg was saying you have a, lot, a few different guys who can do a lot of different things, it seems like, in this backfield. Yeah, I mean, we ran the ball super well. Um, <laughs> I honestly think they were getting up to speeds almost as fast as Coach Catuso, so. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I mean, yeah, we had like five guys break off runs for 10 yards tonight. Um, and then just overall breaking tackles, showing really good stuff. Landon caught the ball well, dropped that one. Um, but whatever. What do you think of Griffin? Obviously, he's a local kid for us, but I, I'm not sure what coach expected of him when he decided to come here. But what have you seen from him? Uh, Griff last year was in an inter interesting spot because he walked on. So when you're a walk-on and you're a freshman, you don't get to come and work out in the spring uh, or in the fall. In the summer, when you lift and run with the team. Right, so he didn't get to do that. And we, all we saw from him was fall camp. And we're like, oh, wow, okay, he's a good player. But obviously, he wasn't going to play him over, or over Todd. And then it didn't really make sense to jump him of the guys that had already been you know, in the system. And then all through fall camp and through the season, he was doing great on um, our key team versus our starting defense. So we knew he was he could be a great player. Um, we were all talking in the offense, um, like going to the spring, man, I can't wait to see what Griff does, and he's really just taking the opportunity and ran with it. He's probably in that one or two spot right now. Uh, question. After last season, the team showed a lot of potential despite the record. Can you talk about your hunger level coming into this season to correct some of the things that may have went wrong last year, some of the things that you guys want to improve on? Absolutely. Uh, like you said, the hunger is at an all-time high. I mean, we're all competitive as hell. And last year there were so many so many games that were, were like this, and then we knew we should have walked off the field with a win. Um, and it was so repetitive. You know, the, last, the, the same things were said after every game. You know, it's one play here, one play there, and it's a win. But we always fell on the short end of the stick. So um, having that on your shoulder for an entire offseason as a team with a bunch of guys that grew up winning, grew up winning football games, um, and aren't used to losing, you know, it sucks. But like you said, we're hungry as hell and we can't wait to play. Uh, as far as improving, I think we just got to do the little things right. Um, we showed flashes of being the best team in the conference. We, sh we also did things where you went, damn, man, how's this college football team? So um, that's unfortunate, but we're, we're looking to make those strides. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.